Good evening, everyone. Uh, <laughs> how the fuck are you guys? I was going to do like a uh, 3,000 subscriber style video. It, it's right around the corner. I guess that I'll still do it. But, but I'm too enthusiastic about doing a video on this particular topic, which I'm going to post this as a video response to the Woods of Jordan. Um, despite his opinion and, and our differences or whatever it is, Jordan's pretty good about accepting video responses. So I'm sure, Jordan, you'll accept my response. And uh, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, this whole thing, this whole fucking thing between you and your father in this video that you've made, it's funny to me. Now, before I continue, I want... Now, first I want to say... <laughs> <laughs> I just find this so amusing. I'm sorry. First, I've watched um, two videos tonight, uh, video responses to your video, one by Sister Sunshine and the other by Superfly NB. Now, I did this on purpose. I wanted to watch one video by an atheist and one video by someone that shares your faith and, and see the two responses just to confirm what I'm about to say now. Now, I know how the typical atheist like myself would respond a rational human being would tell you Jordan um, you know stay out of your dad's business maybe he's happy uh, you know maybe he met this this beautiful 27 year old woman at Subway and not only is he gonna score like a young piece of tail he's also gonna get like all the fucking hot steak and cheese subs he can fucking eat and, and so you need to just stay out of his business and, and let the adult be the adult and you just keep your fucking nose out of it. Now, while that's a bit insensitive, and I am sympathetic to your situation with your parents being getting a divorce, especially your little brother. My parents got a divorce when I was about 15 in those awkward little teenage years, except I remember I was kind of happy about it, but, but that's neither here nor there. What I'm saying is, is that rational people will tell you that this is none of your business. That's what rational, sane people will do, because it's true. They will also say that they can understand your situation. That's what they will say. They will say, well, I, I can sympathize with your situation. I, I understand that you're upset when your father has met a new woman who's trying to, especially 27. I was 20 and some 27-year-old was trying to bark orders at me. I'd backhand the shit out of her and be like, bitch, I'm an adult too. I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but but you, you see what I'm saying. It's just a fucked up situation. Uh, it, here's what I'm driving at. Um, the people that share your faith are going to support you, Jordan. They're going to support you, and they're going to say, you're right. The Bible says that what your dad is doing right now, that's against the rules, and he can't do it. So good for you, Jordan. Stand up for your faith and do what's right in Jesus' name and yada, 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 and all that shit. I'm not going to take either approach. I'm not going to take either approach to this topic. Um, here's what I'm going to tell you to do just for my amusement. And I can't believe, maybe I've missed a couple videos, it's possible, that there were like no other atheists on YouTube or anybody else who, come, who came up, who came to this conclusion. But as you all know, and I've openly stated in the past, um, two things. Number one, I hate dogma of any kind, of any kind, religious dogma or otherwise. I hate it, can't stand it, it's useless, and it's destructive, and it's negative, it's anti-productive, it fucking sucks. Number two, I love revenge. So tonight, I'd like to combine those two traits of, of my personality, uh, my, you know, hate, my hatred for dogma, and, and my lust and love for revenge, and I'd like to interweave those two fucking ideas and tell you, Jordan, that I support you in making the video that you did. As a matter of fact, I don't think that you've gone quite far enough. I don't think you've gone quite far enough. What I think you should do is, if you have a caller ID, and this, this girl tries to call your dad, you should try to beat him to the phone as often as possible, pick it up, and when she goes, Hello, Jerry, you go, Jesus loves you, and hang up. Just hang up on her. Be like, No. No, and you say, no, this is wrong. And, and you stand up to her. I want you cock-blocking your dad with every fucking opportunity that you get. I want you to lecture your father on, on, on why he will go to hell if he continues to 
not repent for the sin he is living in. And I want you to drive him fucking crazy with this. Now I know what some of you rational, sane atheists who watch my videos are thinking. Why would you encourage Jordan to do this? His dad has a right to be happy. He has a right to... No, 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 yeah, 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 nah. D really? Really? This, this, this guy raised a couple of kids and rubbed their fucking noses in the Jesus dung for years. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Just rub their fucking noses in the dung. Dogma, dogma, taste that shit. Taste that shit. Yeah, yeah. And when, when, when daddy finally got a piece of ass and a, and a, a free subway card or some shit, you know, now he's, now he understands that, that he wants to do what he wants to do and that it's human nature and that wanting to have sex with very attractive women is quite natural, even if you are still legally married and all that fucking nonsense. He understands that that's what he wants to do. Revenge is in order. Jordan, take it out on this motherfucker. Uh, every opportunity you get, I want you rubbing the Jesus book right in his fucking face. Because that's what he did to you, and that's the only fucking reason you've bitten this, this uh, bait, this dogmatic bait, and that it reeled into the fucking retard boat that you're now floating around aimlessly in. It's because of your fucking dad. And a lot of you are not going to agree, and I don't give a fuck. But this guy was dogmatic. He taught his children the dogma. Um, Jordan is basically the shit floating in the toilet. Um, time to look down and see what's in that shit. That's all I'm saying. It's fucked up. Something's wrong. <laughs> you raised these kids to be dogmatic. You deserve to have the Jesus shit rubbed right back in your face. So, Jordan, my advice, cock block your father and if you can get a hold of that subway card they do make good sandwiches peace